been a lot of talk uh, amongst Ravens fans or on Twitter today about them having a seven on seven flag football tournament. And y'all know that's right up my alley, right up my alley. But anyway, YouTube team, keep it clean. I, I hope that y'all are having just a, a phenomenal day today. Um, I hope that everything is good with your families. Everything is good with your friends. Everything's going great at work, at school. Wherever I hope that everything is good with you, um, and somebody who is definitely good for, because you ever know, you you ever go to a job interview, and you're just waiting, waiting to hear back. You like, hmm, hmm, hmm. you don't hear back nothing for a couple of days. Like, okay. you get a little anxious and whatnot, and then your phone starts ringing, and it's a number that you're not really familiar with. So you're like, oh, okay, every, everybody, shut up, quiet, 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 quiet. Shh. shh. Hello. Yeah, yeah, this is him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Hey. No, no, no. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it too. Thank you. Bye. You got the job. That was the phone call that uh, Vince Beagle got today when the Ravens officially signed him because he was at the Ravens uh, rookie, the Ravens rookie mini camp. Last week, and he was there for a tryout, and he got it. He got the job for now. So congratulations to Vince, to, to VB, uh, on becoming the newest Baltimore Raven. Now, I was naive to Vince Beagle's name, uh, to his game, but he is a former Miami Dolphin, so I guess that makes him a Florida Raven, right? You get that? But anyway... Um, so I went to, I saw Pro Football Talk put out a little quick article about him. So I said, you know what, let me go ahead and read it. So let me share with you what I read. He says, originally a Packers fourth round pick in 2017. Uh, Beagle has bounced around a bit since entering the league. He spent the last three seasons with the Miami Dolphins. Though he missed all of 2020 with an Achilles injury, uh, he was on the practice squad for most of 2021, but was eventually promoted to the active roster. In all, Beagle played five games last year with the majority of, of his snaps coming on special teams. The Ravens lost Anthony Levine. The Ravens lost Chris Board. Um, the Ravens, they got rid of Miles Boykin, uh, who was becoming a very good special teamer. So the Ravens on special teams, they, they lost some significant guys there. And you know that this team values special teams um, on a whole nother level, as they should, because special teams is very important. I know we always all talk about offense and, and defense all the time, um, but I feel like for with special teams, at least me, myself, I can't speak for all Ravens fans, but me, myself, when I really think about it, I probably take Ravens special teams for granted. Probably really do because Ravens, obviously, they have the best kick in the league, Justin Tucker, and they definitely had a phenomenal kicker prior to him with Matt Stover. Uh, well, bef obviously, before Billy Cundiff. And there was a time when Billy Cundiff was, he was like that. He was nice. But then we know how that story, unfortunately, ended. Um, Sam Cook's been doing his thing, uh, but he looks to be on the way out. Uh, and shout out to him. He has done his thing for a long time here. Uh, with the Ravens, um, and then even the uh, the return game, the the coverage unit, they don't really they don't be having people return kicks and punts on them for touchdowns like that. They really don't. And then as far as their return unit, I mean, they could be a little better. I mean, Devin Duvernay was an All Pro last year, but still, Ravens could they could do a little better in the return game, get a little more of a spark. Um, but maybe Duvernay just he just getting his wings under him and whatnot, getting even more comfortable. So maybe this year will be the year where he gets back to the end zone again on special teams. We'll see. But anyway, um, the Ravens special teams over the years has been pretty good. So it's something that I feel like myself, um, I've, I've taken it for granted and, and, and really overlooked just how good that is. Uh, but the Ravens, they, they don't overlook special teams at all. So with this signing, um, I say all that to say this, that with this signing, this is a depth move, and it's also a special teams move. Now, the reason I say depth move is because of this next paragraph. It said this linebacker, Vince Beagle, is, uh, his most substantial playing time came in 2019, uh, where he appeared in 15 games, and he had 10 starts for the Dolphins. So another good thing about this signing is that he not only is a special teamer, 
but he's somebody that has starting experience. So you can never have enough guys that have starting experience because of a little saying going around, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And if you got guys that have been there, done that, then that makes you a lot more ready uh, instead of having to get ready when your number is called. Um, last season, it showed us more than any season before. Well, maybe 2015, but last season showed us more than any season before. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Over prepare. Over prepare because you just never know. So with him, uh, and, and get this, not only does he have the, the, the 10 starts for the Miami from 2019, but he finished that season with 59 total tackles, 7 tackles for a loss, 13 QB hits, and an interception. So with that being said, it's like, okay, all right. So when he did play, when he did really get his playing time, he made a count. And that's what you want guys to do. Not everybody's going to get the most, the, as much opportunity as the next man. But when it's your time, when your number is called, when it's your chance to shine, you got to take advantage. And you got to take full advantage as much as you can. Now, in offense, sometimes it can be a little bit harder because the ball, like they always say, <laughs> it's one ball to go around. Um, but on defense, I feel like with defense, not that it's easier, but I feel like it's, it's, it's a little easier um, to, to really make a play and really let your name be put out there. Um, but that's just my opinion. But anyway, um, something that Jameson Hensley brought out, which is a good point. Uh, he said that Beagle reunites with Ravens uh, outside linebackers coach Rob Leonard, who was Beagle's position coach in Miami. So Beagle going to be walking through the hallways and somebody going to say, Vince, who's that? He's going to say, hey, it's me, Rob from Miami. Oh, oh Rob, what's up, baby? What's going on? He's going to say, welcome. He'll say, hey, thank you. And hopefully um, what the those because they hired two coaches from uh, the Dolphins, I believe. But hopefully what they recreate, hopefully they can recreate part of that Dolphins defense uh, from last year that the Ravens had so much issues with and just struggle with so much. Um, now, I, I did see uh, a lot of people like freaking out about this, this signing. I'm like, come on now. Like. I know, I know Ravens fans, we, we are very emotional and we can be a little bit crazy sometimes too. And depending on what the signing is, we can get a little more upset sometimes and a little less upset other times. But this signing is nothing to freak out about. It's, it's, it's really not. Not like at all. <laughs> like not, not one bit. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a depth move. Depth, special teams, that's it. And there's a high chance that he... It's not even a guarantee that he'll make the roster. And even if it was a more notable name right now, too, it wouldn't be. We've seen it, especially over these past couple of years. It is not a guarantee that even a more notable name will make the roster. Because guys are getting cut, released. And even if you come in and, and the team brings you on for like training camp and stuff, even if you've been a name that's been out there and you've accomplished so much, if a team feels like, oh, no, nah, you're done, we, you're not going to help us be better. They'll release you in a heartbeat. So, uh, shout out to Jeff Zrebic. He made up, uh, well, not made up. He put a really good point uh, about Beagle. Uh, another nice little tidbit. He said that Beagle has played both inside and outside linebacker. So, see, you see, the, the, the more you hear about this signing, the more we find out about this signing, just from Mike Florio, good, good thing this wasn't about Lamar, because, you know, Mike Florio, he would be a completely different article. But... Just from what we, what we heard about this signing from Mike Florio, Jameson Hensley, and Jeff Zrebic, it's like, oh, okay, that, that makes it that much more clear as to why the Ravens signed him, as to why the Ravens brought him on and brought him in. So, again, no, no reason to freak out, no reason to get upset over about it, no reason to get uptight about it. No, no. It's, it's a signing for depth because you never want your depth to run 